Hey, green light the day, people. Um, it is Julie, and it is Tuesday, um, the 19th of January. And um, I'm going to talk to you briefly about um, self-acceptance. A lot of, um, if you've been looking at your uh, Facebook uh, page, uh, the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America um, uh, is doing this whole campaign on... Um, anti-fat shaming and um, and I think in addition to that um, we can go a lot a long way to just self-acceptance um, I um, about two years ago I'm almost six months or I mean six six months <laughs> six years um, after my weight loss surgery but um, about two years ago I decided I couldn't continue on eight or nine hundred calories a day. It was unrealistic. It was um, not working for me. I mean, I you know, I, I just one glass of wine would just like do me in, <laughs> and it also screwed up my metabolism in a really bad way. Um, today. Um, and so I decided, screw it, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, and what comes, what comes. You know, as a result, I've gained 30 pounds. Not thrilled about gaining 30 pounds. Um, I have to admit, though, that the 30 pounds itself is, uh, um, uh, there is a lot of junk food that came in there. But... Um, Today, my husband and I were out walking at about 6 o'clock this morning with the dogs. And uh, we were doing a, a mile uh, walk with them. And um, I said to him, I said, you know, I don't know that I will lose, you know, all 30 pounds. Um, and I don't think that that's my goal. Um, my goal is to be healthy. And I, and I know that I said that when I first got weight loss surgery. Was My goal was to be healthy, but it soon kind of morphed into something else. It morphed into wanting to be uber thin and wearing lots of nice clothes, which all of a sudden I could. And, and um, this comparing thing that I know that we talk about a lot. Um, but it really did me in as far as um, kind of messing with my mind. Because I was already in that, like, you know, morbidly obese state in which there was no control. And then I shifted to uber control, and there was no, like, healthy middle. And so about two years ago, I stopped all of the like self-obsessed kind of stuff um, and today I feel like I'm in a good place to say I'm okay you know I, I you know yes I feel like I need to take back a little bit of my health not not to the point of starvation not the eight or nine hundred calories per day that I was doing um, but I can take back some of my health by being more active. Um, it makes me a happier person. I can take back my health by sleeping more. I can take back my health by meditating more. Um, there are lots of things that I can do. Um, I can take back my health by having healthier food options. Um, and that's okay. Um, what is not okay is getting into the kind of polarization that I was in before. And that kind of leads me to what I was initially talking about was the self-acceptance. Um, I am not going to be an uber thin person. Um, and that's okay. Um, I've maintained over a hundred pound weight loss, which is spectacular. I mean, I have to say that. But um, I'm not going to maintain 140 pounds. Um, and 
that's okay too. I can I can live with that. Um, that itself is fine. Um, so um, I'm here to say what ask yourself is there a part to your life where you're either hypercritical or you're kind of ignoring because those were kind of my two states I was either hypercritical of myself or I was ignoring something and realize that those are two ends of the spectrum neither of them healthy and you have to come to a middle place where there is self-acceptance, knowing that you are doing the right thing. You may not get the what you believe in your head to be perfect, but you will be perfect for you. And that's the important thing. So um, that's part of my journey um, this coming year, too. Um, I know we've been talking about journeys and and reflecting on the last year, and that's part of my journey for this year too. So um, I hope that uh, green lights your day in a little way, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.